this right here, you bunch of prima donna ballerina mother Hi, and welcome to Where's the Action. I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. This is my Sunday, July the 13th, daily pitching report. I have two games I want to look at today that involve four starting pitchers. Let's get right to them. The Tampa Bay Rays host the Toronto Blue Jays today at 1.05 p.m. Eastern Time in St. Petersburg, Florida. And the starting pitcher will be for the Toronto Blue Jays knuckleballer R.A. Dickey. And Dickey comes off an impressive start last Tuesday against the red-hot hitting L.A. Angels. Dickey tossed seven innings of scoreless baseball while allowing just four hits, striking out five and walking one and a 4 nothing Toronto win. However, despite that stellar effort on the road, he's gone just 2-7 and seven versus the money line on the road this season. He's also gone just 1-3 and three against the money line in his last four starts versus the Tampa Bay Rays while posting a lofty 5.68 ERA. And in those four starts, he's been plagued by the long balls. The Rays have gone deep on him six times in 25 and a third innings of work. However, Dickey has seen 11 of his 12 day game starts stay under the total during the last two seasons. The Rays will counter with Southpaw ace David Price, and he's been absolutely superb in his last three starts, going 3 0 against the money line with an excellent 1.87 ERA and a 0.96 whip. Price has also gone a perfect 6 0 against the money line in his last six starts versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Price has seen 19 of his 25 career starts stay under the total when he's pitching at home in day games. The, the advantage in this situation, I like the Southpaw David Price over R.A. Dickey of the Toronto Blue Jays. The San Diego Padres will travel to Dodger Stadium to take on the Dodgers on Sunday afternoon, 4.10 p.m. Eastern Time start. San Diego goes with their very good young right-hander Tyson Ross. And Ross has gone a perfect 4-0 against the money line in day games this season with an excellent 0.93 ERA and a better than 5-1 strikeout to walk ratio. In his last three starts, Ross has displayed absolutely terrific form with a 1.64 ERA a microscopic 0.68 whip, and he struck out 22 while walking only one. He's seen his last nine starts go under the total, and 11 of his last 12 have stayed under the number. In addition, just keep this in mind, the San Diego Padres will be facing Hun Jin Ru today, and the Padres, when facing a southpaw like Ru, have gone under the total in 16 of 17 games versus left-handed starting pitchers on the year. The only red flag with Ross that I see, he's been much better at home than on the road. Of course, pitcher-friendly Petco Park in San Diego. Many pitchers qualify under that heading. However, in seven road starts, he's posted a lofty 1.52 whip. The Dodgers, as I alluded to, they go with Southpaw Hun Yin Ru, and he's coming off just an absolutely horrible start last Tuesday at Detroit. In a game, he allowed seven earned runs, ten hits, and walked two in, a four, in just two and two-thirds innings of work during a 14-5 Dodgers loss. Rue has been an extremely profitable 18-5 and five the last two seasons when facing an opponent with a losing record like the Padres had. He's also been extremely dominant in his last three starts versus San Diego as he's posted a 0.93 ERA, and all three of those outings have come since the beginning of the 2013 season. I'm going to give a slight edge here to Hun Yen Ru over the youngster Tyson Ross of the Padres. My name is Ross Benjamin. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. All the best, folks.